We're going to begin this practice in a downward facing dog. So bring yourself down onto the mat, palms pushing down, heels pushing down, and just start by taking a deep breath in through the nose and then gently out through the mouth. Once you're set up in your downward facing dog, just start to bend the right knee, straightening the left leg, feeling a nice deep stretch through the calf and the hamstring. Pushing down through the hands, lengthening through the spine to intensify the stretch. And then switch over to the other side, bending the other leg and straightening the left. Again, feeling a nice deep stretch through the calf and the hamstring. From there, take the right toes to the back of the left ankle and gently push down on the heel. If the heel is away from the mat, it just means that the hamstrings and the calves are quite tight. So just begin to breathe into that tension and slowly it will begin to release. Once you've had two breaths there, gently take it over to the other side, pushing down on the other heel to intensify that stretch through the back of the leg. Returning to your downward facing dog and then rising your right leg up into the air, stepping it forward and dropping the left knee down. Slide the left knee back as far as you can so you feel a slight stretch in that back hip flexor. And then we're going to push the knee of the right leg out and then bring it in. So we're just beginning to gently open out through the front and the back hip flexor using the breathing, moving the knee around in a circular motion and then just holding on any tight spots, using your breath in those areas to release. From there, we're gonna come down onto the forearms to deepen into this hip flexor stretch a little bit more, relaxing the toes of the back foot. Now, if this is too much and you can't get all the way down onto the forearms, make sure you've got some blocks handy. As you can see in the video now, I'm just placing my forearms on some elevated blocks. So that will just help to ease off the stretch if the hip flexors are particularly tight. And then when you're there, just gently begin to breathe in and out through the nose. Taking one more deep breath and then gently removing the blocks away, coming up onto the hands, slowly taking that front leg back. Just moving through the wrists a little bit and then coming back to your downward facing dog, bending the knees from left and right, moving out through the hips, the head, the neck. Before we move on to the other side, left leg rises up, steps forward, right knee drops down. Take the hand onto the knee of the front leg and gently begin to rotate in nice big circles. Again, if you notice any tight spots, you can pause in those areas and just use the breath to help release. Come to stillness and then bring yourself down onto the forearms or if you need the blocks, place the blocks under the forearms. Relax the head and the neck and allow the breath to do the work as we ease into this stretch and begin to gently open up through the front and back hip flexor. We're here for one more breath. And now gently tuck the back toes, take that front knee back and resume to your downward facing dog. Again, bending the knees from left to right, just releasing any tension through the body. Coming down to all fours, crossing the legs behind you, and then extending the legs out straight in front. Grabbing a block if you need it. If the hamstrings are particularly tight, you can sit on a block. This will give you a bit of elevation from the hips. We'll allow you to stretch a little bit further into those hamstrings. Inhale, rise the arms. Exhale, bend over the extended legs. Take a hold of the big toes with your thumb, middle and index finger. Take some nice long deep breaths here as you move deep into the hamstrings. Ensure you're contracting the quadriceps and then to deepen, take the hands around the outsides of the feet, tuck the chin into the chest and use the weight from the upper body to breathe and deepen into this stretch. From here, take your right hand to the outside of the left foot, reach back with the left arm. We're in a twist here. Bring that back arm over onto the outside of the right foot and twist back with the other arm. 
looking past the shoulder and the hand. Inhale, bring that arm back up and over onto the outside of the other foot. Bend from the elbows. This is a lovely stretch for the shoulders as well, opening out through the shoulder blades here. Another deep inhale. And then very gently release the hands, vertebrae by vertebrae, rise the body up. From here, you can come down from the block or you can stay on it, whatever works for you, depending on how tight the hamstrings are. Extend your right leg out in front, bring the left foot into the thigh, inhale, rise the arms and exhale, fold over the extended leg. Use the pressure of the hands on the foot to deepen into this hamstring stretch and a slight hip stretch on the left side. From here, take a hold of the big toe and to take the leg out a little wider, reach the leg up and straight and place it out a little bit wider than where it was. Take a breath here with the leg extended in the air and then gently place it down. Keep the fingers on the big toe and then inhale reach the left arm up and over into a nice deep side stretch seeing where you can get that top hand to. Bring the body back to neutral and then switch the legs over, extend the left and bring the right foot into the left thigh, inhale, arms rise, exhale, fold forward. Tucking the chin into the chest and opening out through that hamstring. As with the other side, in a moment, we'll take a hold of the big toe. And just continue to breathe here initially. Now taking a hold of the big toe with the left hand, lift the leg up and straight, contract through the quadricep. And on the exhale, take it out a little bit further. Keep the fingers on the big toe and then reach the right arm up and over into your side stretch. Looking up towards the ceiling, staying open from the chest. Exhale, bring the hands down. And then from here, take the right leg over the left. And then if you can, tuck that left leg behind. Take the hands down on towards the feet. Now, what I'm doing right now might not be possible for you. If it's not, keep that bottom leg extended. Otherwise, fold over the legs as we stretch into the glutes. Use the weight of the upper body to feel a nice deep stretch through the glute. We're here for another breath. Now to deepen this, inhale, rise the body up. Bring the hands to prayer position, rise the arms up. On the exhale, take the right arm under the left. Bring the palms together and then see if you can hook the elbows over the legs. Tuck the chin into the chest and allow the upper body to relax down here. Now again, this might be too deep, only go to your furthest point. On the inhale, rise the body back up and release the hands. Take the hands behind, extend the legs out in front as we move on to the other side. Taking the left leg over the right this time and then bending the right leg under. If that's enough, hold it there. Otherwise, see if you can stack the knees on top of each other, ensuring the space for the sit bones. Exhale, fold over the legs and feel a stretch through those glutes on the other side. Adding in an upper body stretch, rising the body back up, bringing the hands to prayer, inhale, rise the arms, exhale, take the left arm under the right this time and fold the arms over the legs. Relax the upper body, relax the head and breathe into this glute and shoulder blade stretch. On the inhale, rise the body back up, release the hands and extend the legs. Just give them a little shake. And then bring yourself back onto the mat, making sure the space to slowly lower down into happy baby. Rock the bottom up, take a hold of the insides of the feet and draw the legs out to the side for a hip stretch. You can stay still here or you can rock from side to side, ensuring you don't fall over onto one side. Bring the soles of the feet together and place them down onto the mat for lying butterfly. Hands on the belly, draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. So we just breathe here 
for a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. On the next inhale, gently bring the knees back up to centre and extend the legs down into Savasana. Take the arms out with the palms facing up and allow every single muscle in the body to be completely heavy. Try to keep your mind focused on the breath for the final few moments here. In your own time, you can exit Savasana, rocking all the way up to finish. <laughs>